Okay, guys, uh, we have a flu outbreak in Brooklyn, in New York City, the canine influenza. I, I don't know what to do anymore. It, it seems that people love their ignorance, and even talking to people about their dogs and these vaccines. Um, the vaccines, just like the vaccines have increased dramatically for children, so have the vaccines for our domestic animals. Now our domestic animals are coming down with autoimmune diseases, cancer, allergies, and how is it that the masses can't seem to question, could something be wrong with the environment? People have to stop listening to experts. And I don't know how to get people to start thinking for themselves and stop letting experts, mainstream media, think for them. This is so... Yeah, over the recent years, we have seen flu outbreaks in dogs. And you will see in the articles that are writing about the flu outbreaks, the canine flu outbreaks, the good news in the article, the pups can get vaccinated. All right. Oh, it really upsets me greatly how, how humans, adults, are doing things to their animals that I just, uh, look, I, I don't know what to say anymore. The masses, the arrogance, the hostility with which they want to hang on to their ignorance, that's what is upsetting. And so many people are afraid to question those experts. The vet, well, they went to veterinary school and they know and I don't know and I'm just going to listen to them. Same with doctors. People lack the courage to question. People lack the courage to go against their doctors or vets advice. They lack the courage they don't have uh, that strength of character to stand when those vets and those doctors are rolling their eyes and shaming them for daring to question their expertise. And somehow, doesn't this have to stop? My God. There's no natural immunity. All right, dogs. We never saw dogs coming down with cancer and autoimmune diseases and allergies and the flu. Baby boomers, those who are older, really should be questioning what the hell is going on. Two highly contagious strains of canine influenza are making their way around the United States. H3N2 strain. It's landed in Brooklyn. So far, 14 dogs have been tested positive. There were a lot of cases this year, close to 500 in California and Nevada. And are people lining up to get their dogs vaccinated? Vaccinated with the same <laughs> very toxic substances that children are being injected with. What we're looking at the signs, uh, or what are the signs? Coughing, nasal discharge, sneezing, them being very tired, not wanting to eat, not same energy level. Any of these signs, get your dog to the vet right away. You don't want to sit on this, but the good news is the pups can be vaccinated, which provides some relief to dog owners. We spoke to. All right, I will link below. There's so much information about these vaccines that are given to pet owners, whether cats, dogs, horses, whatever. And 
then either suddenly or within time their domestic pet comes down with more serious illnesses. Dogs, when they are vaccinated, will have seizures just like children. Suddenly they develop an allergic reaction. Oh, it is our job to take care of children and dogs and most people they they just rely on the information that they get from their vet I had to withstand that I'm not getting my dogs vaccinated thank you very much I had to get them vaccinated with uh, the rabies every three years but none of the other stuff and please if you have a dog and you are getting them vaccinated every single year then you are injecting into that animal very dangerous toxins and here in this article what does it say oh well you have to vaccinate your dog against this flu and then two weeks later get a booster. <sighs> All right, to be fully immune. Um, you know, when you live this on a daily basis, and I know that a lot of you are, the ignorance that you face, it, you, it's almost, you don't even know what to say anymore. Are vaccines dangerous for your dogs? Yes. Stop the shots. Pet vaccination dangerous. Vaccinating your pets is dangerous. The truth about pet, uh, pet vaccines. I will link below to all of these videos and I hope that you get the information out. Thanks for listening.